Sure. So uh, we uh, collaborated with one of these two big groups, so with the NIH group, uh, with Dr. Kennedy Rao, who is one of the thought leaders uh, in this disease. And we assessed our novel ITK inhibitor, CPI818, uh, in apps. And just very briefly, before we get to the details of the data, we did show that CPI818 uh, blocks activation of T cells uh, from apps patients and is also active uh, in the disease itself in a unique mouse model uh, of ALPS uh, that we have. Uh, maybe before I get to the details of this study, it's uh, worth mentioning a little bit about uh, CPI818. It is an ITK inhibitor, uh, ITK is interleukin-2 inducible T cell. Um, and we developed this drug initially for treatment of uh, T cell lymphomas. And most people know T cell lymphomas are a rarer form of lymphoma compared to what we know from B cell lymphomas uh, or Hodgkin's disease. Um, it has been in development for about a year and a half. Uh, we also presented ASH about our T cell lymphoma data. Um, it's a molecule that we designed and developed uh, at uh, our company at Corvus uh, ourselves, specifically uh, because of what we knew about T cell receptor signaling. Uh, we knew that it was maintained in T cell lymphomas. Um, also, I think everybody knows about the role of B cell receptors in uh, BTK inhibitors because it has revolutionized the treatment of uh, B cell malignancies. So you look at ITK, uh, which is a signaling molecule of the T cell receptors as a homologous of BTK uh, in T cell lymphoma. So it is it's widely expressed uh, in T cell. Uh, malignancies, and therefore we thought that inhibition of uh, ITK has a potential role in uh, T cell lymphomas. That's why in-house we developed this very selective uh, oral inhibitor of, I of ITK selectivity. Whether we are talking about ALPS or T cell lymphomas is very important uh, because we know we want to preserve uh, normal T cells. Um, at ASH, uh, at an oral presentation in ALPS, we actually uh, did show some of the studies that we have done that shows that this molecule compared to a lot of other kinase inhibitors is very selective uh, for ITK. But going back to ALPS again, uh, we know that the T cell receptor and the fast apoptotic uh, signaling pathways are very closely linked. Um, and fast receptor signaling uh, requires a functional T cell receptor complex. So our hypothesis in collaboration with the, the NIH was that this dysregulated growth of fast deficient T cells in ALPS that I mentioned, they are dependent on that T cell receptor signals. So by blocking that T cell receptor signal, by inhibiting ITK, uh, you can restore that apoptosis, which is an important part of, of ALPS. Give a little bit uh, of uh, details of what we uh, showed at, uh, at ASH. So we did some in vitro studies uh, initially. Uh, first, we saw that ITK expression pattern is similar in blood tested from ALPS patients uh, compared to healthy uh, volunteers or healthy donors that we had samples from. We also saw that evidence of selective ITK inhibition by CPI818 fully blocks the T cell uh, receptor stimulation. Um, and after this kind of confidence, and also we knew that the, the drug is not cytotoxic, uh, we took it uh, to the next level, which was the animal model, the mouse model. Um, in, in, in general, uh, we know about this fast deficient MRL LPR mouse model, which is very similar to ALPS in, in humans. These mice have a mutation in the FAST gene, um, and this, uh, they also have a spontaneous development of lymphoproliferative disorders uh, due to this expansion of these double negative T cells. Typically, when you leave these mice alone by week 10 or 14, uh, they also develop a lot of lymphadenopathy and splenomegaly and, and organ damage uh, uh, in the mice, and um, we, they often die from it. Uh, we did two interesting experiments uh, with this uh, specific mice. Uh, 
Uh, one was that uh, we treated a group of young MRL LPR mice with CPI 818. Um, and without uh, going through the, all the details of uh, this experiment, uh, we showed that we can prevent the onset of lymphadenopathy uh, in these mice, very similar to the mice that actually receive cyclophosphamide, uh, which is a, a chemotherapy cytotoxic uh, agent. Again, uh, these mice uh, do develop autoimmune diseases as well. Uh, they develop uh, kidney damage and they develop proteinuria from this. And in this experiment, uh, we also showed that, um, uh, that proteinuria was prevented in the mice uh, that we treated with CPI-818. Another experiment that we did uh, with similar mice uh, was that we looked at uh, mice that they had already established the, the lymphadenopathy. So we waited till the mice were uh, 14 weeks and then we treated them either with CPI-818 or control or cyclophosphamide again. Uh, and again, we saw that the mice who were treated with the CPI-818, similar to the ones that got chemotherapy, uh, they had a decrease and uh, they had a stable lymph node. Uh, and uh, we actually looked at the skin lesions. There was improvement of skin lesions and also uh, improvement uh, in proteinuria. Um, so that was also very encouraging in terms of efficacy. Uh, but one thing that was important that I mentioned uh, initially, we want to move to treatments that are not your typical chemotherapy. Uh, once we identify these targets, uh, we want to get to treatments that um, are, are safer. We, we know that adenopathy is decreasing. Uh, so we looked at the screen of these mice uh, and we specifically uh, looked at uh, the, the T cell subpopulations in the uh, spleen of the mice that were treated with different treatments or actually just left alone. Uh, we were happy to see that CPI818 uh, treatment preferentially depleted the double negative T cells, and that's why we see the improvement of the disease, uh, but did not deplete the CD4 positive or CD8 uh, population that everybody needs as part of normal uh, immunity. Uh, what was interesting again was unlike cyclophosphamide, uh, it's a known effect of chemo in general or cyclophosphamide, uh, there was no decrease in the, the number and function of B cells and NK cells uh, with CPI-818 that actually shows uh, hopefully a, a superior benefit down the line for treatment of patients.